this edition of the Chilean Forum with your host, Tracy Barrett and Joel Davis. This is Tracy with the news. With us today is the President and Vice President of the Interclub Council, President Denise Terranova and Vice President David Acton. We'd like to clarify to our audience that this is Spirit Week, and today is Punk versus Preppy Day, and these two have obviously chosen Punk. Denise, what is ICC and what is its function? ICC is Interclub Council, and its function is to inform all club vice presidents of what's going on in the school so they can relay it back to their clubs. How do you get involved in an interest club? Well, an interest club, uh, pretty much all I have to do is show up for the meetings. If they're show up for the meetings, get involved, and have a lot of fun. When is the next club rush, and what clubs are involved? Okay, the next club rush is spring, and the only clubs that are involved in club rush are the service clubs, which include Flash, Junior Exchange, the Metier, Key Club, Killian Patriots, Ingenue, and Interact. Where are service points recorded, and what, club, what do clubs need to earn them? What clubs? Okay, service points are recorded in a notebook that is kept in the activities office. The only, the only clubs that need to have service points are the service clubs. Why do service clubs have to be co-ed? Okay, service clubs have to be co-ed because it's a national law that says that you cannot discriminate against race, creed, or color. So that's why that they have to be co-ed. How are outstanding service clubs chosen? Uh, service clubs have to get a certain amount of service points, which they get through uh, school and community activities. And uh, at the end of the year, the uh, I believe it's Miss Legacy counts out the service points, and the club with, service club with the most points uh, wins the best club. David, what is the difference between a service club and an interest club? Okay, well, as I said, service clubs have to earn these service points, at least 50 a month. And the um, interest clubs are really... Um, people getting together who have a common interest, such as sailing club, chess club, something like that. Denise, can you legally be expelled from a club? Yes, you can. Clubs have certain requirements that each person needs to follow and a certain constitution. And if you break this constitution or you don't follow along with the rules, you can be expelled from the club. How do you form a new club? Well, the most important thing is first Mrs. Legacy and Mr. Preso's um, okay. But before you go to them, you need at least 12 members, uh, four elected officers, a constitution, and a sponsor. What criteria must a student meet to belong to an honor society? Well, the criteria is different for every honor society. For, we have a lot of national honor societies that are nationwide whose um, criteria is usually a little higher. But there are um, certain uh, honor societies that are just in this school, and they're decided, such as uh, overall grade point average and uh, conduct. Thank you. We'd like to thank Denise Sternova and David Acton for being with us today. We'll be back after this message. Governor Bob Graham has proclaimed November 13th through the 19th as Florida School Library Media Week to encourage all citizens to become aware of the contributions made by the school library media programs in our school. The event, which coincides with National Education Week and Children's Book Week, is being promoted by the Florida Association for Media and Education, the Dade County Media Specialist Association, and the Dade County Public Schools Division of Media Programs. During this time, we would like to pay tribute to our own school library and its fine faculties with its dedicated staff of librarians, including head librarians Francis Hall and Marion Reeves, and assistant Gladys Rady. Our library is open daily from 7 a.m. to 3.30 p.m. Students are encouraged to make use of the library during these hours either for research, study, or simply relax with a good book or current magazine. Students may visit the library during lunch to study in the quiet section or sit up front with a friend. Our librarians are always available to assist students in finding materials. So, especially during this week, we would like to recognize our Killian Library, there to serve the Killian students. And this is Tim Chambers for Killian Forum. <laughs>